Thank you so much, uh, Madam Speaker, for joining us tonight. Uh, and I now want to yield two minutes to another person like Marcy Kaptur and me who represents a, a, a district full of gritty working class factories and neighborhoods that Rich championed so fiercely. Uh, my friend Paul Tonko from New York. Mr. Tonko. You well, I thank the gentleman for yielding. Thank you, Congressman Levin, for arranging this evening's uh, special order. Uh, today, we honor the remarkable life of Richard Trumka, a person who uh, poured his entire heart and voice and passion into what's right for workers and what's right for union workers. He emboldened that mission and uh, fought with great, great uh, uh, fierceness in order to uh, achieve. Uh, he taught us that anything worth fighting for deserves our efforts beyond belief, and he poured himself passionately into his mission. A fierce champion of the labor movement and fierceless proponent of the rights of working people, Rich revolutionized collective bargaining and civil disobedience as a mechanism for meaningful change in our modern era. I was deeply saddened and stunned to learn of his sudden passing back in August. A great friend to so many of us, myself included in my district, we worked together to build strong and forcible labor standards into the heart of the new NAFTA agreement, which gives, gives American workers a fair shot and level playing field on the global stage. That kind of fight was at the heart of Richard's lifelong work, using unionism as a tool to build a fairer economy, a more just economy, a more robust and competitive economy for our society. We must honor his indelible legacy and deliver the kind of generational change for which he fought day in and day out by creating good paying union jobs and tackling the climate crisis, racial injustice and economic injustice that disproportionately hurts working people. My sincerest condolences go out to the entire Trumpka family and all of his loved ones. Richard, rest in peace. And I yield back. Thank you so much, Paul. Now it's my honor to yield to 